Bikini. That's my driving teacher, Mrs. Puff. Everyone who lives in Bikini Bottom has their fair share of troubles, but no one has it more tough than Mrs. Puff. Mrs. Puff has always been one of the best characters on SpongeBob, but something tells us that she has a lot more going on below the surface than meets the eye. And that something is the fact that she is always going to jail. In fact, she has ended up in jail more times than just about anyone in the world, real or cartoon. Today, we wanted to take a look at all of the insane reasons why Mrs. Puff has been in and out of the joint over the years, and why her life seems to be so riddled with troubles. Just start driving. For those who might need a little refresher, Mrs. Poppy Puff is a pufferfish whose profession in life is to teach the citizens of Bikini Bottom how to drive boats. She's a very capable and talented teacher, having successfully managed to instruct everyone. Well, everyone except one person, SpongeBob. Even though she has tried many, many, many times, Mrs. Puff can just never seem to get through to SpongeBob. And it's not her fault. Because of his recklessness behind the wheel, he has never managed to complete a driving class without some sort of accident. While SpongeBob might be the main character of the show named after him, series creator Steven Hillenburg has actually gone on record to say that Mrs. Puff is the entire reason that the show even made it to air in the first place. When he was first pitching the idea, the only way the network would greenlight the project was if SpongeBob was a kid who went to school. He knew that it didn't work with his overall vision for the show, so as a loophole, he created Mrs. Puff and her driving school so that SpongeBob could technically fill the network's requirements. She is also very close to Hillenburg's heart as he was a marine science teacher long before he was the creator of one of the most successful cartoons of all time. He actually used a ton of experience from his own years spent teaching in some of Mrs. Puff's storylines. Mrs. Puff is a very kind character and has given SpongeBob more chances than just about anyone in Bikini Bottom. But even she isn't immune to his antics, and clearly he has become something of a terror in her life over the years. But unlike Squidward, who despises the enthusiastic Sponge, Mrs. Puff is quick to suppress her dislike of SpongeBob. Possibly because of this, she is a very anxious, paranoid character who really does seem to be suffering from an anxiety disorder of some kind. One of the biggest possible causes for this is that she is always going to jail, and never because of anything she is responsible for. That's right, it is SpongeBob and not Mrs. Puff who has landed the poor pufferfish in the slammer over and over and over again since the show began. While it's true that other citizens of Bikini Bottom have spent some time in the big house, Mrs. Puff has been sent there more than any other character on the show, and for all sorts of of reasons. You're stealing, right to jail. You're driving too fast, jail. Slow, jail. She was sent to prison once for crashing into a police car, which SpongeBob was directly responsible for, and again for causing damage to the city, which, surprise, surprise, was also because of SpongeBob. Then she was arrested for giving SpongeBob his license when he didn't exactly pass the driver's test, which, we'll concede, was her fault. But we can only assume it was because she was driven to the edge of her sanity and just gave it to him to make him go away. Okay, sure, she then stole a boat that his parents gave him, which was not the most rational decision. She has also been accused of stealing another boat by Patrick Man, Patrick's superhero persona, for which she was sent to, wait for it, jail. You shout like that, they, they put you in jail right away. In another instance, she was brought back to jail for attempting to cross the county line, violating her parole. Yes! Put it in drive! <laughs> it might seem like we're trying to blame SpongeBob for all the times Mrs. Puff was incarcerated, but actually, she has a couple more offenses that aren't related to him at all. For starters, she has been put in jail for littering and skipping out on jury duty. There was even an entire episode dedicated to Mrs. Puff being in jail called Doing Time. In this episode, SpongeBob is trying to take his driving test yet again, and in the process, winds up breaking out of the driving course, destroying Mrs. Puff's school and other parts of the city, before driving off the end of an unfinished bridge and falling into a deep chasm. The police who were chasing the two fall into the same chasm, and all land on top of a truck full of fruit punch that was being delivered to the seniors' home. Of course, SpongeBob walks away a free man, while Mrs. Puff is sent to the slammer for gross negligence. While you might think that Mrs. Puff would be upset at the fact that she is once again behind bars, as the episode goes on, it turns out that she is actually much happier, and finally able to 
to relax because SpongeBob isn't there. Even though she eventually gets free, this begs the question, what if Mrs. Puff is actually trying to get arrested so that she doesn't have to deal with SpongeBob? They say that once you've been in the joint, it can be hard to adjust to the life on the outside, and maybe that's exactly what Mrs. Puff is going through, since every time she gets out of jail, she is forced to interact with the very sponge who put her there in the first place. It is also shown as the series continues that Mrs. Puff has actually been deeply traumatized by SpongeBob and is completely driven insane by him. In the episode Demolition Derby, she actually loses her ability to puff up because of yet another one of his disastrous driving tests. After that incident, she is driven so mad by him that she tries to sign him up for the Demolition Derby, hoping that he will be in such a bad accident that it will actually be the end of him. She even goes so far as to enter the derby herself in a huge truck and tries to finish him off herself. Maybe this is all a result of SpongeBob's unintentional torment, or maybe Mrs. Puff is hiding a much darker, far more sinister secret. A secret from her past. Which leads us to a whole other theory. Maybe Mrs. Puff is a lot less innocent than she appears. To really get into it, we have to go back. You see, Mrs. Puff was not born and raised in Bikini Bottom. She only arrived in the city as an adult with an already checkered past. Most of her origins remain pretty mysterious, but what we do know is that none of her family are still living. She is the last of the Puff family lineage. Long before she moved to Bikini Bottom, there was also a Mr. Puff. He and Mrs. Puff lived a happy, tranquil life until one day, tragedy struck. The story goes that while while they were swimming, Mr. Puff was hooked by a fisherman and his body was eventually turned into a lamb. While the trauma of that would be enough to turn Mrs. Puff to her life of crime, some think that maybe she isn't all that innocent. In the episode Krusty Love, Mr. Krabs falls in love with Mrs. Puff and he tries to woo her. At one point, he asks SpongeBob what happened to Mr. Puff, and SpongeBob replied that she doesn't like to talk about it. Which could make sense, since bringing up that tragedy would be hard for anyone. But there is also one other reason why she would shy away from dredging up the past. Some fans out there think that Mrs. Puff herself may actually be responsible for the demise of her late husband. Some think that she either paid someone to off him or simply did the job herself. And then, years later, when she started her first boat driving school before moving to Bikini Bottom, we know that the business failed when she ran into a pile of mysterious legal troubles. So much so that she actually turned to robbing banks, for which she still keeps her trusty ski mask just in case. After all that went down, she had no choice but to run away and start a new life in a new city, which turned out to be Bikini Bottom. And this might not even be the first time she has done something like this and then gone on the run from the law. In the episode No Free Rides, when we learn all about her previous run-ins with the law, she says something something that sounds awfully suspicious. She says, I'll have to move to a new city, start a boating school with a new name. No, not again. That not again that Mrs. Puff let slip in her panic state may have just implicated her without her even realizing. Sure, she might just be referencing to the fact that she has uprooted her life once, but we can't rule out the possibility that Mrs. Puff is something of a black widow, moving from city to city in her endless struggle to hide from the law. But she's unable to stop herself from living a life of crime. Since it was revealed in a later episode that she and Mr. Krabs had been secretly dating for around 16 years, we have to wonder if he may be next. I mean, as one of the wealthiest residents of Bikini Bottom, he might just be the perfect mark for her next assassination. Of course, we can't know any of this for sure. It's also entirely possible that SpongeBob has simply been tormenting a woman who has been grieving the loss of her husband for all these years, and the reason that she is driven to such violent extremes is because she is actually suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. And of course, of course, SpongeBob doesn't mean to cause Mrs. Puff so much turmoil, he just can't help but leave a path of destruction wherever he goes. <laughs> Mrs. Puff? 
Clearly, there is more going on with Mrs. Puff than meets the eye. Whether she is actually a crazed, murderous psychopath remains to be confirmed, and we may never truly get the answer. But whatever the case, it's probably better for everyone in Bikini Bottom if SpongeBob just leaves Mrs. Puff to run her driving school in peace. Who knows? One day she might just snap again. Or hey, the next time she winds up behind bars, maybe it's better to just leave her there. She seems happy enough, safe and secure in a place where good old SpongeBob can't get anywhere near her. Hi, Mrs. Puff. <laughs> ah! Hit the brakes! SpongeBob! Knowing all that we now know about her, we don't think we can ever look at Mrs. Puff the same way again. What do you guys think about her and her troubling backstory? 